What are you doing? What are you doing, Jaden? What are you doing, crazy? <laughs> well, hello and good morning. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Richie, and today it's a beautiful day. We're going to go check up on the box truck and see the new equipment I bought for the new small business. Did you hit your head, Jaden? We still have this pretty girl. We haven't found an owner yet, but um, apparently somebody's coming today to pick her up. Huh, girl? You excited? You excited for new owner? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, nobody uh, claimed her. I, we posted her. We posted her everywhere on the internet, um, but nobody has claimed her. It's been like already like two days, and we cannot keep her here because obviously we have journey. Uh, so. Today, apparently, somebody's gonna come and get her. So we'll see how that goes. Huh, girl, you excited? Huh, you excited? Man, she's such a good doggy. She's a good doggy, huh? Are you gonna miss her? <laughs> I'm gonna miss her, she's, she's a good dog. She's really sweet. <laughs> yeah. It's a doggy playground, and Lionel and I are playing here. Let's go outside. Ooh, who's that, Jaden? Ooh, what kind of car was that? Did you hear it? Let's see how the desk came out. I'm trying to paint it and sell it, but it looks horrible. Look at all these crazy spots, what the heck. This right here especially looks so bad. Are we going to fix this, babe? You look decent from afar. <laughs> I'll be back, babe. Okay. Look at this. One thing I really love about the box truck is that it fits in a regular parking spot. Just like this one. It is big enough, but it fits... If it's just the right size for it, it's crazy. But uh, I still had to rent out a storage unit so I could keep her there. And uh, nobody can mess with her. Man, I really, really love this box truck. <sighs> I was never a Ford fan, but whew, this thing rides so good. I'm probably gonna be a Ford fan after this. I'm gonna put some music. Honestly, even though I drive semi trucks for a living, I still gotta get uh, used to driving this box truck because. Man, it just really feels like a regular like uh, van, but obviously it's, it's big and I can't fit in a lot of places. <sighs> but like I said, I love it. It's perfect. Uh, I'm just really excited to have this. So I wanted to give you guys an update on how the company is going. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I made my first mistake on this small business and uh i kind of saw it coming but <laughs> i don't i don't know man all i could do is laugh about it because i mean it's it's just i gotta be really careful of uh who i'm trying to make business with although i'm like really really excited about this business also it makes me feel like everybody is gonna be on my level with the same vision of uh, where I'm trying to take this company but unfortunately uh, the people who I picked to start this business with they did not see the same vision as I did and uh, they weren't very serious about it therefore it led to uh, miscommunication and uh, I just said you know what it's fine I mean it's actually not their fault it's my fault for picking the wrong people you know but uh, I did want to make it clear that I'm going to keep going, although I'm going to start this uh, solo. I am still very, very, uh, pretty much uh, thrilled to, to start this 
by myself and uh, we'll see if anybody will um, tag along and uh, grow this with me. But um, as for right now, I'm actually very unsure of who's gonna work with me. <laughs> that's not a that's not a good thing to say, but but straight up, honestly, I have a lot of friends that they are very very like serious about this. They they are a hundred percent about it. The only thing is that they have good jobs. They they do full time jobs, and I don't want to get that on the way, right? Uh, but we are gonna do um they they do want to earn a little bit more income so i did tell them that you know what if you could help me out from time to time you don't you don't have to go full time with me you know uh, as doing the moving business you guys can do uh like maybe probably weekends or something like that or whenever uh one of our my employees does not show up um you guys could go ahead and uh i'll give you a call see if you're available to make a little bit of extra cash on the side kind of like a side hustle and i have a couple of guys actually and they're really really nice so i i, I mean even even if they don't want to do it anymore i understand that's fine um but it, it's just cool to have some backup you know there's very very nice people out there but like i said unfortunately i made the decision to um get i actually have two guys two guys ready to go now i was like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna grow this business with them um they seem very excited about this i'm excited because they're excited and it came to a point that once i started getting everything ready to go uh they saw that everything was getting momentum and to be honest it i think it kind of like i don't know it just uh they got they got discouraged or something but um Man, it's just so unfortunate because I was super thrilled. I was actually gonna get them together on Monday, and both of them, and I was gonna offer them like a really good deal because if you think about it, this is something I'm learning. If you think about it, employees are like what makes this business, any business, um, go on, you know, like I start rolling. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take care of my employees. I'm gonna give them even more money of what I initially told them that I was gonna pay them. And they're gonna get tips. I was actually even gonna offer a bonus. You know what, I'm like, I was gonna say, hey guys, if you guys do this for me, if you guys like, uh, just put like a lot of work into this business so we could get some sort of momentum, man, I'll, I'll throw you guys like a really good bonus. And man, honestly, Monday came and both of them didn't even show up <laughs> like oh my god i can't even describe to you that like how that felt i had to having a full-time job and running a business is like so hard to make time for anything and guys i scheduled this for monday which is a really really busy day i could have done so many things i took the day off I uh, told my girlfriend and my uh, to, to take care of my son, and so I could uh, just clear my schedule. And man, I was so thrilled. At least I wanted one to show up, so I could be like, yeah. So I c I can motivate them, like, so we could do this, we could do that. Look at all the equipment that I got and everything like that. But unfortunately, they didn't show up. And uh, this is part of doing business. This is part of having a business. It's just. It's, it's you just never know you know because I know there's a lot of people that they all talk you know like I didn't want people to think that of me because I <laughs> I made another mistake of telling everybody that I'm gonna do a moving business and honestly they were like a, it, although there's a lot of people that are like yeah yeah I can do it man I support you um, I don't want them to think that I'm all talk you know that I'm like ah oh, yeah I'm gonna do this this is my next move and then not do it at the end but man, I, obviously I kept my word, I'm doing this, you know? And whoever wanted to join me, man, they're welcome to it, you know? But um, these friends that I asked to join this, to start something great with me, um, I think they were all talk. They were the ones that they were all talk because they were all really excited, they're ready to go. And uh, it got me excited, you know? And unfortunately, um, now that everything's pretty much ready to go, all I need to do is uh, take care of payroll 
and I'm writing the terms and conditions and the contract to get the ball rolling to start me getting uh, hired to people to, to help people move you know um, now they're all just they just disappeared they just they just went away and you know what I had to cut I had to cut ties with them I had to um, I had to cut ties with them because if somebody is not too sure about what you want to create man I mean it's okay but if you're really unsure just just get out of the way you know just pretty much get out of the way so that is a really like a learning lesson you know you can't really depend on friends yeah it's just it's just so unfortunate you know because I was really excited to start this company with a couple of friends and although they everybody does say that everybody that makes business they say do not make business with your friends because that friendship's gonna die and, and honestly it didn't even start we didn't even work yet and the, the relationship just died you know because it's just it's so unfortunate I was just so excited and they let me down so it's, it's, it's actually a good thing that it that they let me down at the beginning so the work was already going it's uh, picking up pace and then they let me down then now that would have been a really bad problem so it's a good thing to pretty much cut them off now and uh, continue this harder than ever you know what I'm actually a lot more motiv motivated a lot more motivated than ever honestly because <laughs> although I'm like going at this alone man this is it's just uh, it's a very like uh, learning experience and I encourage anybody if you want to start a business do not get discouraged if like everybody like turns their back on you or tell you you can't do this you can't do that man that even that gives you even more motivation to go harder and do greater things you know so like I said although I was already excited and motivated now is like 10 times more than that so let's get down and show you the new equipment let's go whoa whoa hold on hold on let me let me check this real quick We got a bunch of moving blankets. Each of these cost like around $17. And there was a lady online selling all of these for a little less than $100. And uh, the story behind that is that she moved out of Georgia down to Texas. And she didn't trust any movers, so she did it all herself. And um, so she bought all these moving blankets and she gave me a deal on all of them and they're all fa fairly new. I mean, they don't have anything bad on them, so I'm really thrilled about that. She gave me a, one hell of a deal. I mean, this is like, what, $800 worth of uh, blankets? And she only used it once? Man, that is, that is such a good deal. So uh, I also bought these off eBay which is rubber bands and what this is gonna do is uh, once I like let, let's say I have a uh, a couch I'm gonna put this on the couch to protect it and the rubber bands I'm gonna be tied around the edges to 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 keep that um, keep those blankets in place so they won't fall off during the move so it's gonna be really really helpful for any move that I'm gonna make and uh, although there's I did realize that there's other moving companies that they uh, charge extra to have this used to protect people's equipment. I'm going to be one of the few that are not going to, it's not going to charge for this. I think I'm, this is going to be required in every single move. So everybody's uh, furniture or anything like that is going to be protected with my company. So that's one thing I'm going to add to the, to the contract. And also I bought this on a truck stop <laughs> I saw these at uh, at my company because I am a truck driver I saw these wait let me see let me try to take it off real quick there you go so this is what it is this is a like uh, this is like something that will replace the straps since I am gonna need straps although I did buy straps let me see let me uh, let me get the straps that I bought so these are the straps that I bought. I bought them actually off um, Amazon. I know I know there's Amazon stuff that is really cheap, but these are actually really well recommended by some movers. And uh, 
they come blue like my company's color and it shows you the the working load limit and the max brake strength so it's a really really good strap company but since I didn't want to use straps all that much although I'm gonna use I'm gonna need them that's why I bought this this is really helpful you could adjust it right here going uh oh crap this thing got stuck the thing about this box truck is that it's got like uh, um, areas where these could be uh, pretty much placed to so they could get some sort of grip so uh, let's say for example I do it right here bend it. And there you go look it lays right here it could be tucked in and behind this just like that and then this one too it could be tucked in just like that and all the furniture and all that stuff that we're moving will be secured back there with that on the way uh, I'm actually gonna buy uh, maybe three more of these so it could be secured the whole way and uh, and I already have those straps so we're pretty much good to go oh I also wanted to uh, show you guys that I bought this little like tool set just so we have to uh, just in case we have to disassemble some sort of uh, furniture or something like that so we could place it safely in the truck and uh, so yeah we I wanted to get this out of the way um, unfortunately they did not have the color blue <laughs> I know I'm really picky about that but eh, this is gonna help a lot uh, red is not that bad. It's actually the second best color, so we're good on that one. Oh, and these boxes. Um, the lady that sold us these, she apparently had a bunch of stuff um, to protect her belongings with, like, the glass and stuff. So she gave us a bunch of these, um, like, foam, like, foam uh, sheets or something like that. I don't know what they're called exactly, but we, she also gave us bubble wrap, so... That is so good. This this box is just full of them, and that one as well. And uh, look at you can see like it has like little bubbles here, so it's gonna be really good for the move. And there you have it, you guys. I wanted to give you guys a little update on how my company is going and how it's progressing little by little. So I showed you all the equipment that I recently bought, and I'm gonna make more videos as this goes on and on. So with that said, hopefully you guys have a beautiful day and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Laters.